Hi everyone, Mike from We Are The Saints. Brothers and sisters, hello. Uh, I have another wonderful message from the Lord today. Um, and I wanted to get this out right away. I didn't want to delay. So before I get started, I want to say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father and Lord of my life and our lives, I pray that these words are of spirit and truth. I pray that those who hear them will understand that these are your words. They are not my words. Lord, Lord and Savior, this is your ministry, not my ministry. All glory is yours, Lord. All glory to God in the highest. I pray that whoever hears this will be blessed by it, that it strengthen you, that encourage you, encourage you, and allow you to absorb the message with eyes to see and ears to hear. I ask that this go forth and increase your kingdom in, our, in your name, Lord. Amen. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to get started. This is a wonderful message from the Lord. O children, children, I long for your love and attention. I know your days can be so fragmented with distraction, but after you recover yourselves, don't run from me, run to me. When you run to me, my heart cries out. Here she comes. My bride finally broke free and she's running to be in my embrace again because she longs for me as I long for her. That is what I say, truly. Then I melt. If you are turned away by an earthly care, I am crushed. Don't let the enemy pull you away from me. That's why I grasped you so tightly and cried, because you did make it despite the enemy's attempts to steal you away from me again. This is how I feel about you. I am overjoyed when you come to me. Understand that on another level. L look at it this way. I am the construction boss. You are one of my employees. You are in charge of building part of a very tall skyscraper. It looks messy because it is messy. Materials are being used, trimmed back, plastered, nailed, welded. Oh, so much is going on at this site. Trucks come and go, dropping loads of gravel for cement, bringing in steel beams and cables. Heavy equipment is moving and erecting scaffolding. Piles of metal wires are all and all kinds of materials that are left over from the day's work leave the yard looking dirty and disorganized. But another floor has been added to the building, and it is going up. It looks pretty ragged because it's under construction. You have done your best as the crew boss. You finish another level, but it was messy and leaves you feeling as if you didn't please me, when in fact, you did. This particular message really resonated with me um, because I am in the um, construction business. I'm a contractor and, and I'm a... Um, I'm a tradesman. So listen to this. I mean, it's it's going to resonate with somebody. Somebody out there listening is going to really identify with this. I, I just wanted to stop there just to say that um, this left me feeling with uh, with such joy because I could I could understand exactly what he was saying. It just some days you just feel like it's just it's just not working. It just doesn't seem like it's coming together. You feel like you're failing all the time, but the Lord was confirming something that was really heavy on my heart. And I, and I wanted to, I really was waiting for this because, well, he speaks to me all the time and this is exactly the way he, he talks. So when I got this, I wanted to get it out right away. So I'm going to continue with this. The enemy never rests. He is continually, continually looking for ways to steal your peace. And his favorite is perfectionism, judgment, and condemnation. While I am standing by smiling at the work you completed, though it's still messy. In the twinkling of an eye, I will finish this job, clean up the mess, and leave it spotless. In the meantime, each level is being completed and the building is rising higher and higher. I am not, mean, I am not a mean-spirited taskmaster. I am the lover of your soul, ever so happy to see you about your work with me with a heart of love. 
heart of love is, is key. When the days go badly and are fragmented, I understand. I see the forces opposing you. I watch you wade through them with as much love and patience as you can muster. And I am pleased with you that you persevere no matter how messy it looks. You are still committed to seeing it through. But you cannot have a heart of love if you are continually looking over your shoulder at me, fearing that I am displeased with you. That displeasure will carry over into how you deal with others. And that statement is very true. That hit home hard to me because I've been hard on myself. Sometimes I feel I didn't get the right message or I didn't um, say it as well as I should have or it didn't come together like I thought it should have. And sometimes that's, that's hard for me to, to, to go through, but I'm going to continue with the message. That does, sorry. That is why you need dwelling prayer. You need to experience my joy and satisfaction with you. You need to bond and soak up the love I feel for you. When you, Then you will be encouraged and strengthened to begin again tomorrow, overflowing with love for your brothers and sisters. So I am asking you, brides, come to me, knowing that whatever you've done or failed to do during that day, I love you. And I appreciate your every effort, more than you will ever understand. That's why... I want you to sit before me in this portrait. It conveys that love and appreciation and gets your heart and mind going in the right direction until you are open and connected to me in your spiritual vision and emotions. You see, I am terribly misunderstood and taken as a harsh and cruel person. You must do this or you must do that. Your job was not done perfectly, brow down and finger pointed. No, no. Rather, I am tender, tender-hearted, and the lover of your soul, longing to show you my gratitude for your perseverance, mistakes and all. So keep this vision in your heart and mind. I am waiting for you to break free from all earthly entanglements to come to me. Come to me with joy and expectation that I will embrace and approve you. Then, if there is a little matter to discuss, we will discuss it and move on. Please. Do not look over your shoulder fearfully. Rather, look longingly. Tell the lover of your soul, I'm coming, Lord. I'm coming. I'll break away from this soon. And send me a kiss of promise that soon we will be enjoying sweet fellowship together. Thus says the Lord. So that's, you know, that really resonated with me. Uh, and hopefully it resonated with you. Uh, especially the part where... Um, I kind of wonder if he's not happy with the work that I'm doing. And I worry that it, it does boil over and I find myself becoming a bit too judgmental with other people at the same time. So I, I'm, I'm co continually trying to make sure that I stay humble and I pray that the Lord to the Lord all the time that I, that he keeps me humble and I, and I, I prefer to be in that state of humility as much as I possibly can all through my day, whatever it is I'm doing, dealing with other people, co-workers, what have you. Well, I thought this was really beautiful. I hope it blessed you. I, uh, I pray that this will resonate with you and show you that although we make mistakes, our God is not a God who condemns. Never. My Lord and your Lord, Jesus Christ, whenever he speaks to me that way, he's never condemning, condemning. That's how I know that it's from the enemy. And I have to rebuke the enemy as soon as I hear that condemnation coming down saying, you're not doing enough. Um, um, what you did is going to cost you. It's things along those lines. I really have, tr have through, through the, the work of the Lord, has shown me when you hear that, that's not me. I'm over here saying, you know, regardless of what you think, I'm going to use this. 
I'm going to use your weakness to show my strength. And my strength will appear through you. And I have to remember that because I don't know most of the time what, how much fruit is being harvested from the things that I do. And I've mentioned this in other videos. I, I, the Lord has kept that from me so that I won't, be, won't become prideful. And that's a concern that, I, that I've had and I've committed. I've made a commitment to my Lord that I would rather be humble than to have some sort of inf pride or inflation. Which is exactly why this ministry, this ministry called We Are the Saints is not mine. It is the Lord's. He speaks through me. I'm just his instrument. When I want anyone who's listened to this video, whether it's the first time you've seen one or you've been, been around for a while watching a few other videos, I never ask anybody to like my videos. I never ask anybody to subscribe. This, this channel will never be monetized because as the Lord said to his disciples, he sent out in twos. He said, take nothing else with you one set of clothes, one set of shoes, take no money, ask for no money. As I have given to you freely, you will then now give to freely as well. And that's what I'm trying to do for the Lord here, is I'm giving out His Word and His um, daily bread, as it were, living water to fill your cups. If it if it does, it, I, I pray that it does. It's the only reason I... I, I want to do this. I, I'm just, I'm an extremely busy person. I have a lot on the go. I have a big family. But the Lord has asked me to, to spend this time and do it. And so I'm doing it. Um, but I take absolutely no glory in, in any of this. All glory is to the Father and to His Son. And... Uh, I'm just so pleased that it can be used in some small way. Someone once said to me a long time ago, if whatever I'm doing can bring one soul to Christ, just one soul to heaven, I don't care how long it takes, I don't care how much work it is, that one soul was worth it. And the Lord speaks about this, about the 99 and going after the one. Anyway. <clears throat> God bless you all. I, I really do hope this encouraged you. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.